So this is a uh, Vance Deal 2017. Um, so here I'm just going to try and talk through actually status. Um, in Advanced Deal you can add a status to uh, actually model elements and also to drawing elements. So in this video I'm actually going to focus on, on drawing elements to start off with and try and explain the difference between a status and a revision. So obviously you can select a camera object in here, you can run a drawing for that using a normal bulk standard drawing process inside Advanced Steel or a customised one if you've customised it to do something slightly different. Uh, you can actually obviously open that drawing, uh, obviously it will generate some form of view, I'm not actually too worried about what the view was at the moment. The important thing I'm trying to get to here is in the title block there are some attributes that link to the status system inside the drawing mechanism inside of Ant Steel. So you can see the, the fields here in the uh, title block and if you were to go to block editor you would see that behind that is a couple of attributes or tokens for a better term of the word. Um, and one of these is approval underscore status and the other one is the uh, comment one which is approval comment so I'm not going to change any of that I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment um, I'm going to leave the drawing actually open in front of us there and I'm going to return to the model now the drawing obviously gets stored within the uh, document management system uh, we can see the file has been created here. There's this little circle at the front here. And this is actually the status indication. Uh, you will also find over here, I think it will come into play at the moment, under this drop down list here, you'll find the different status comments here. Now, you can add to these if you need to, you can create custom ones. So. Sometimes people refer to status as like a, a work stage, uh, a work in progress stage, a key stage, uh, a life cycle change, uh, these kind of things. It depends on your internal systems. So at the moment I'm just going to focus on the fact that uh, we might want to change this drawing for approved. So it actually changed that file just by me pressing that there. I can go back and put it back to not set and it'll go back to not set. I can also click in it here and it will change and it will go to revise. You also get a right click short, uh, sorry left click menu here so it will come up and it will actually show the approval status under here so you could change it in here to uh, comment or something and it will change the color of it and under the under the same thing you can actually put a comment against it so you can type in here test status comment for recording so you're putting your little comment in here and if you go OK now I'm just going to do that in the document manager and I'm going to come back and I'm just going to come back to the sheet in question you will now notice that it says the status level is comment in this field here and also the comment that I typed in here is actually populated across into the page header. So this actually changes the status of the drawing. Now this is not a revision. A revision is a different thing. So you can have a drawing that is say at the status level of approved and then it might go out to someone and they might reject it so you state you'll change the status level to say it's rejected and then you'll come back in and you'll you'll want to actually update the file so you'd probably have the file closed at this point you would probably come back into the document management system and you would be looking at this here and you'll probably see and someone will come back and say that it's out for comment it's come back from comment it might have been rejected so you could change it to rejected or you get it back in and you can say that it wants to you know you want to change it now so you would add a revision mark to it to do that so you use the revision system using the button over here on the right hand side you can put in an author in here and put just to put test revision I'm going to type in here for today 
So now I'm actually applying a revision to the system. And I'm actually just applying it to this one drawing. So what it will do is it will back up that drawing from the original copy and it will add a revision mark to the end of it. And you'll notice that the status level has now changed. Okay, it's gone back to not set because this is a new drawing. Okay, so you might have this, you might want to go back in again and you might want to change it. So if you keep pressing it, it will go through the cycle or you can change the list, etc. So, you know, you could put it back to revised. So the status level of it is revised and then you could put another comment in it to go in here, you know, updated to comments, you know, reissued. So it's a way of tracking the life cycle of the drawing, the life cycles of the drawings as they're issued out to people in addition to a revision. Because the drawing could come back and even though it's a revision A, it could then be approved, so you could change the status level to say it's approved, but you don't actually need to issue a revision. Its life cycle has changed. So I'm just going to do that again, and I'm just going to open the drawing again. And we're going to come back in here, and we can see now that the status level has changed in here to revised, and the comment updated to comment reissued. So that is how it fundamentally works for the drawing side of the system and this actually works also within assemblies and parts as well you can have a life cycle for those types of drawings as well the only thing you need to do is probably adjust your title blocks to add these two attributes in which are under here um, if you're unsure where to find the attributes there is a very good FAQ on the Autodesk Knowledge Network which actually gives you all the attributes that are available within a page header. So just search for advanced still page header attributes and you should find it quite quickly using Google. So hope that helps with drawing status levels within advanced still.